the best uh, fresh green This type of ants locally, the Mayan languages we call it some popo. These are the same leaf cutter ants. Things can literally carry up to uh, 25 times their weight. Check this out. Coming all the way up the hill. Incredible, huh? Here's where they're taking it all. Other seven, eight guys to put them standing to locate it. Shows you how powerful these things are and what they can carry. Fascinating. Did it work? <clears throat> Trying to wake up the yeah, howler monkeys. Care. Not working. <laughs> we tried. Good effort. They are just scratching themselves. <laughs> okay. So what we're looking here is the fat pepper, wild fat pepper, the one that we produce in the Mayan lands. When, to recognize the tree is very easy because uh, it's one of the white bark trees that grows in here. Remember, over 500 species of trees grow in here, so you must recognize individual trees like the fat pepper. We do export fat pepper widely. Those are the seeds. They will be. They are small actually. They grow a little bit more. <clears throat> they are ready to pro, uh, to produce or, or to be cultivated around August and September. So, it's like any other uh, spice, will be uh, spicy like. Well, you taste it. Eat the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. You just taste it. Will be spicy because it's. Fat. It's got some serious it's flavor fat, to it. It's a fat pepper, huh? Um, its scientific name is uh, pimienta Ooh. de pimienta de oica. Uh, pimienta is a uh, kind of black or fat pepper. It's the uh, same name. Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Also, uh, good tea comes from the leaves. You want me to eat that? Yeah. Uh, we will get some leaves. Three, four leaves will be good, and we will make a tea this afternoon. There's a nice uh, relaxing tea. When, when That'd up, be good when for up, me. When after those uh, long <laughs> tours you get tired, you boil this, and then you drink it as a nice natural tea. Hmm. Just relax you down. <laughs> 